Okay, welcome back class. Let's come back to our discussion on political responsibility and power. Quick reminder, who is this person? Yeah, that's Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Where have you seen this character? Can you describe for me what he's done? Yeah, Joel. Uh, he was on The Celebrity Apprentice and he was very mean and was gotta say, you're fired. He's also very confident and has very strong opinions. Okay, good job. Tessa, you get your hand up as well. Yeah, he's also the new president of the United States and I've seen um, really controversial tweets and press conferences as well as um, fake news stories. Okay, terrific. Well done. Who can tell me what the role of the President of the United States is? Who can tell me that? Yeah, explain that. Uh, he implements new policies and laws and he also acts as Commander-in-Chief and that's the choice to take America to war. Okay, good job. Well done. Right. What do you think Donald Trump brings to the role of the President of the United States? Who can uh, bring us up to speed on that? Um, well, he's a Republican, so he represents the conservative side of America, but he's also quite controversial and he remains powerful. Good job, excellent. That brings us up to speed on all our content knowledge. Now it's time to think. Let's look at some of those features and let's start to consider what are the positives and what are the negatives of this person in the role? Who can tell me that? Yeah, Phoebe. Well, like what Joel said, his positives be like he has a fresh perspective coming from the media and business. Um, he's also quite confident, like you saw on um, Celebrity Apprentice, is very quick to judge saying you're fired and very decisive. Um, he, coming from like a business perspective, he is very good under pressure, has good He's very good at responsibility and stuff like that, especially under pressure. But then what Tessa said about the fake news stories and stuff like that, so it kind of shows his inexperience with politics and his dividing America rather than uniting them over like certain topics. And he also, like, he lacks global vision. He only ever talks about America and what America is doing. He never considers the rest of the world. Okay, excellent. Well done. Well, let's start to narrow it down to some of those features and who can make judgments based on those individual features, exploring this character's suitability and effectiveness in the role of the President of the United States. Here's Zara. As a television presenter, he's really involved in the media, but he has no political experience, so he's not really suitable to be President. And he's um, just in saying that He's very confident in the presidential position and he's very quick to make decisive judgments. Okay. Well done. Okay, considering now all of those features, considering the positives and negatives, now it's time to make an overall judgment. Can you make an overall assessment of the suitability and effectiveness of this person for the role of the President of the United States? Who can do that for me? Down the front. Um, I think the negatives really outweigh the positives in this. Um, what really worries me is his lack of global vision, which Phoebe pointed out before. Uh, just my perspective of a leader is that they're normally very global. Um, he is effective in some aspects, but I don't think he's a good president. Okay, good job. Well done. I'm doing this thing in English and I really don't get it. It's like journeys and we have to write an essay on to what extent, like what does to what extent even mean? Well, it's kind of like a critically evaluating. Like in history at the moment, we have to look at different wars like the Crimean War and its effect on the 1917 revolutions. So we have to go through and identify and then describe and analyze and then give our own opinion. Oh yeah, it's kind of the same in music where we look at a song and we have to unpack all the information and then see whether it was valuable or not. So I guess in your English, it's like you've got all this information here and you have to unpack it and then overall make a judgment to see whether it was worthwhile. 